Nats Kla Jillian story Ayat Lake Kakinach Shachu Kwa Constance Nash Hasu Kak eight Hasakau Shahit Yaha Yukatangi Has Tsuha Yukatangi Has Au Shakuk Jitla Aya has to inuk of the Tanan, but two thousand seven Yewuti Yeawa. England ye has wutien ya yendashani ka has to hit ki ye awa aye ye has wutien shuk o aya ye has ya wa ka ye ha ye ha ya wsa ka gun chi shi in has a ti kesta sa ha ki wuz eko aye yu katangi dad kanakawe chak chak awe a die you to nay and cast us out to Sakui that the cut at put with two a big ye o ach to ye ke conacho has a woos head was a gay uti as the cut the ye genate in ye jacquane ye scook after us a good cash a hitty ye away to you go away ye had has ye has had yo sucker ye are ye away ye you retongue Gook, gook day. Jadasai to us go on. Ye ji ye ne ye. Ye ji ye saya ye jitu ne ye. Wasa ach tu ye ke has to tusha on ye o ho ahi. Has ch away. Kaush hit away sha dark ye retungi. Aka away has to jit us our tea. Kilk ne ka hoa ye nak. Kunach away. Clidzi has to yet in a way, girl. Yeah, 
tape recorder you do a song at yeah well yeah you that the cool was test has our school was so we should see in yeah rewind play rewind play rewind play oh hong kong just elon tin took 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 just play the he in a way cut to the jail yeah how to work a car a day has to you in a yeah cut she does our tea yeah i should see me at yeah, at was cool, has to read a. Yes, Kashnik, talk, ah, one panins you do a saga at the joy talk, a quiz a tea, a word that. One panins, koa, ya, kana tidi, ya, at has such gas e, Kashnik, aya, good duck away the teen. Ye, a work has cow over her in a cow nick. Yet, Wujin has Wujin has was tea and away canarti, the catacloidi. Chute I a duck de hasu arti. Chark connach to chark away. But way gal has our was teen. A cossacha corn. Cossacha corn, I a you do a saga at. What tell she at the heeny coo, yet what clay nach are. A cossacha corn. He has a cook one nuts away. Ye has a was a waiter. Good teal, so the sigh. Has a cow, a chuck, a has a cow, she hit away with a nut teddy. Eka a ya has to a year, said he has to a hen. Ya connach a coa, a cut, a cow, a heart, a go. One panin's way, a slag. Kanakhoe said the Kleshdasa Ayakusti were at her. A car away yet eek away Kanakhoe car cut to good. Yashka sneak Naskinakhoe way would kick yen kek would stuck a yen. Ya a hunt who are at the gee gay are car a kicky are. Kiki are one conins a yaw dark, shinkitch kashniki tin. Got she secured nasket the heen, sir. Got the coon the heen coa, we clay the heen. We ye duck our jock, duck the heen, ye duck our jock, nasket the heen, ye duck. Coots a kit. The coon the heen wash ki way, kay oo a kit, we grace to duck. A cow a cossacha corner yard lock. Ye awa yashka sneak tin nach to us a goo, stutil too, yaha yuka tungi. Ye gay at has to eight sha dark wash out a coo. Had to work to the chunky yun. K has K has to two woo kegurs a goo. Has to to walk a girl's a girl one. Yadu eight aya, stu has a two one. Ye away, yadu ohan. Cast again a hoe, you hae what tan. Ja on co ah, you hae tank clean. Goshkone aya stu to two ah, ya uski, you hae tanka a tina has ya tea. Ka ayana hege, ayana hege, ayana hege. Has a teen way anchorage, Skashnik tin, ha e has our tune. Ya has to you a tongue. Yeo after was a good so. Conea quahi, shuqua aya. Ye a quawoos, ye to a guess a goo, you hear tani. Ya skashnik da, quasha da, quasha dasa. Ah, how to ask a good connor. When the cheese high in a kinigi ashka snigi, ya uski on eating a high to you a tangi. To a nach cake how shahidi, kai shahidi. Ah, ya you dat ya cooker, hash a car you do a saga a chatu where introduction. To the Kirchneke, Kainak, Hasakausha hit. Are they you a tongue? 
akaushahidia dot hasakaushahid shukudzio shudzinuch yuk akangi hasawa ach aka awe hasakaushahid shukudzio akunach benachish Echa, Gritchish, Ne a dad yet a cartoon, what took a gay or a tongue? Yadua Tog Ye away a dad yet a hon name. On away Stigger to two Yeskasnik, ha ha you a tongue. Yata a sang who a ya shukwa, a kayeta to nee at Yadu a shukwa a Kusaka kwan. Good tea she do a sock. Ya kusaka kwan yadu her. Ishka hit a ye gay mutian. Was a ye ye tea yet at Kusaka kwan yadu a kusaka. Quan Jayago gink kasi ye ye sa ye awa. When kanins quan aya an kasa kudach sanya quan, hosuku gusa sanya. Ak quan, hosuku gusa ak. Shkut quan, jilkat quan, deslin quan, hosuku gusa. Kusaka quan, kehasaka. Was Kunahoe Cassaye at Yakunahoe ach a cow do the hate Yakusaka at Joe a sire could the tea yat a yak. Was he so cool? Dach a has to sigh away, Kuts yata on shut the hist at on shut the hist at. When Kanin's Kanahoe heart had to us a go with the wajak on. Yat at so sing it harky, sing it harky, we ask, what's you do a sock, we ask, sing it harky, a car cake, cake or ah. Dach a could the tea with a yak, sucks, is a cookie sucks. Klingit Kainach Socks. One Kanins with you. Dasa? Gabbles Club? Ah, Socks Koa. Kesh Stacht. Socks. One Kanins Socks Kachunate. Utua Ach. Socks is a cooker. Yak Shukaga. Where Socks are at late Kachinach Bow. Chunate Arrow. Bow and Arrow. Socks are. Ka we ask like kak enach you y e w you do a sock like kak enach sucks a yashing get enach ye away sucks ka kus gosh yak a ye kus kus tin would deadly ech gosh yak a yak a ye sucks sucks tin would deadly ech ech what ye Yisuku gwech. Tich isani. Yadu tich isani. An chadu za ach. Tich isani. We gwech. Ketlt. Konachowe ach a kausagani. A ka ketlt aya uyech. Tag a. A jowe. Kluse tuk. Tag a. Ye da du ne at so yashkashnik tin. Gosh ye satin ye dat. Ziak, ziagen. 
Alun, Awalun, Akwalun. Yet ich, Wood ich, Kek what ich. Ascha, Ausha, Akursha. Yadu, one canins, Aha, Awaha, Akwaha. At away. The cat ye dig a quaha yata, kayata. Was yata tin is jayego genki a quaha. A joy as ha. Yat a two a joy ach a dus ha at. You do a sago at yata. Ach a dus ha at. Yana good. Woo good. Gaka good. Yadu. Dak 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 yeti. Ik a dicker or good. Dark ik yak yak yan a good way de yak yan a good yak uwa good yak cook a good yet at so yak a a clack a clack yak uwa good a Kashik u good. Kashik u good. Yad to her. Kash yad to her. Do you want comments yet? Nashi dat yakwati hoa. She always kashnik ra kurti gartu da. A cock who she. A cock who was she. A cock hook was she. But she's a teen yada. Ka Kate Kakushi Dush Kakushi Du Katik a ye ka cook was she. Tadaka say to us a go way noun. It was a cook what he. Ah, e kakushi. E e ka cook was she. Ausatin. Jeshuga, ah, ye dat what's the yak. Ausatin. Ausatin. Ye a gursatin. Ya on a squain. Ausaku. A gursaku. A kahisht. A shower hitch. A shakwa hitch. Goshiata goes. Ye naskit. Would the geet yek yek was geet? Ye sitting a wunay at wunay hard. Ah, ya an a stain. Ah, ausata. Ah, a gursata. Ya to a yana ye tin. Do dick e cuck. Ya an a yan, a ho a ho a, ya an a yen. Awa ya, ke a kwa ya. Gosh, yis a teen ke, yis a ku, ga, a tu ye yeti. Hit. Su ye yan a kwa? Oh. Gosh, yis a teen, wait, the yan. Oh. A. Ye. Ga. A two yeti. Ga. Ga conjugation. Ye awa. Yadu a. Go sa. Hit sa a. Yadu sa a. Sa a. A yeti. Hat aya. Ha a. Ya. Ha a. We hit ko a. Sa a. Just ya ye dat. Tetsiag, Tetsiag, and just ye that shah. Tick was tick yah yeti at ye awe wush dachi o sene. Ya anders kuts. Ausak oots. A gushak oots. We tick ho ah, just tick was kea kakan hoos. Was a kate 
Khatech Aushakuts or Awakuts, Klitkoch in a heart attack. Ah, Tashia no one eweta. Wujahin, at Wujahin. Jaanawe, Jesu ah, a dati jahane, to de hano. Sitinge, our shot. Our shot. K a quashat. Yat a two, ya yidet, tash kusti. Quash ya an a shut. Quash ye. Ya an a shut a yaho ah. Er ye an a tak. Ye an a shut. K an a shut. He was a kuko. A kakishawo ye or kakesh kusti. Ye an a shut ho ah. Ho ah way. Ye shkashni kuku team. Gosh yat a two yes it in K a quashat ga 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 conjugation at show a K quits a tiag at the ark shoot out the ark shoot the a gurt the ark a card the ya on a hood a cut our hood a card the a quahood Ush ooh. Ausha ooh. Ke a gursha ooh. Hoochie eye. A stout. Ausa tog. Gush tog a gush a good a heen. Ausa tog. Hat was a tog, we tog a gush. Hat was a tog, we gundis argy. Ishan hut K a gurse tag at the zoo, ga. Play the heen wish gashne gartusa ach, a ga wujin yuch gartusa art, his was a good good titled cock enough. You duck ha aya a kaya wood eek. Tahaya wood eek ha kusti ye a what eek is a you. A ah, which is her and cleany. Cusaka con, could the tea wagal. Kaina ha a washoon. Clash ye who good. Do keek do e rock who was she. Clash her aya to clash ye who good. Shake who good aya, ye keek ye are. Jayanus ah aya do hun who has ka ya kunashin. Aya dark, ya shark, ark, aya ausatini, ka, aya. Jukai ayo ausaku kusaka kwan khsati. Ashkandi yan a good. A shower hitch away, kusaka kwanch away shower hitch. With the geet. A dach ausata we ye duck, kleguish today. Clay our yard to hit the atla a ye day. Where ye duck co are away, we yarn a two woo. Awa a co ark away a two duck cave woo goody. Ask oots ya take a sunny. A two duck cave good away, do jeet wood ye hen, where Kusaka corn cozy. A ye yeer cave woo hun. Ga nach a. Ju ya yanas aini. Teen awa a shower hitch. Shoot at the ark. Kle a cut awa hut. Was gets a geoch said nay. Where kusaka kwan get the get. Aya. Tell a da yan kach to the shutri awa a shoo. Where kusaka kwan get the aw. A wet out the ooh. Cow a yik you would nay, a wet tongue a hussity. A j away tongue a cook a stuck. Ye away would he. Ye a ya yende shuk quatan. Ha, ya ye that. Would she knew the doctor's art? A cut cut say what was sad to suck out the ooh. Oh, yeah, do a out the ooh. 
Ich war so auch die Leute, die ich nach Jürgen Rennerus. Gunnana Christi, ich zu küsse Korn, kritze Tier, Koa, Jesu, hast kritze Tier, ha Annika Hua, Lekachinach, Woodsman, you do a sock, Koa. Hesh has a good Gunana Sai, Tashahtoa Ushko, has a good Gunana Sai, Shagast. Our Nishka has so has our Saku a dad. A hook a nahoe club gushka sneak. Taka ha hoots Ayakutlakati show what. Was wait at so connacht uch a good dach. Dekina, ausaku, Koyakan has ausaku, Yeskashnik. Ye awaken of cheese. Okay, anything goes. Thoughts, questions. We're going to start walking through the story. Clarifications. This one in particular was quite difficult to understand mm -hmm. because of the check mark and then the red X. We couldn't tell if you were trying to say was wrong or if it was the negative, which is what we eventually came up with. But that is a very hard, that, that made it look, it's very confusing. Yeah, I wasn't sure. This was when I wasn't, like, I just sort of, took the person out of the illustration and like yeah <laughs> and, and this is what they're saying to in the story it's like they went up in the mountains to go hunt like that's you got to pull you know, pull that out after you do the whole story mm -hmm. and then it makes sense why is they didn't come back mm -hmm. it's really they didn't come down from the mountain but it mm -hmm. could also mean they didn't come down to the beach yeah there was a lot of beach discussion <laughs> yeah it's a very beachy thing so so this this phrase then means they did not come back yep then why is there a so it looks like it's wrong yeah which maybe i gotta rethink those because like did and didn't it's trying to be like a yes or no thing yeah which is maybe i'll, I'll try and rethink well just neg we're used to negative and positive right which is like right and wrong but this is all about like did and didn't yeah uh, Oh, and the and the you. picture with the tick, you know, the climbing the rope, or I was trying to figure out the second picture on it, like breaking it, breaking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and this, what did I say? This isn't just breaking rope. You could also break a couple of other things like this. Heart, as you say, that's the name for a heart attack. Yeah. Detail. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So, but that's because, like in Shinga, it's like your veins have sort of broken. Mm. Then there's one more thing. Somebody, a big person said that. Or a big thing, I guess. It's <laughs> I'll put it in the chat too while we're thinking about. Was that um? I'm gonna. Uh, what was that story with the yak when they were his uncle? Oh, the one who controlled the tie controller. Was it that story? Uh, no. It is the same character. Don't, like that last word might be two words. I can't remember. 
Kaya. What's Kaya? Anybody know what that is? The dawn, the daybreak. Dawn. So maybe. Oh, go ahead. I will break daylight upon you. I might break the daylight on you. Right. It's mm -hmm. Raven. So, that's Raven's big threat. Yeah. And he did it anyways. I don't know if they brought him. I think they brought him food, but he did it anyways. And then if you get into the story of. Uh, I can't remember which version it's in. Maybe it's in the Nakatlan version of Chutz Chaya Kukli What when that bear breaks the dog's vision? Same verb. So breaking a dog's vision, breaking a sunbeam. If you if you know how to break a beam of light, this is your verb. Any others that we need clarification on? We got them all. Um, Nisha Toga, you wrote out our sort of version of, of the slides as we went through. And maybe that would show some of our areas that we really yes. had a hard time with. Do a quick translation for all of this. Kosach Kwan. Uh, cannibals. Yeah. I, I tend to think as one thing, it's like this one monster, but I don't know. And its name is so interesting to me because Kusacha is eating people in little bites. And then Kwan is usually like a people of a place. So it's really interesting to me that it gets this, I think a very special kind of a name, like a very unusual name. Gutish is the name of this cannibal as well. And what's this? Chutz. How does that translate? Club. Club. And it has something to say about chutz and sucks. What was I saying? The wood that it's made out of. And what kind of wood is it? It's you. That's, it's it. That's the you? sucks. Oh, sucks. It's you. Sucks. Huh. It's the same that bows are made out of. Yes. Yeah, um, mentioned to us that in uh, Robert Campbell's journals, mm -hmm. he, uh, I don't know, Kuch found it somewhere in his journals that he mentioned where Kusaka Kwan lived. Oh, really? Uh, huh. uh, 1800s, you know. Wow. I, I know, uh, I think Zuboff believed it was somewhere around Tesla. And but, then, oh, okay. that Usla, uh, she has that story of them where they're on mountains down towards the coast, maybe Gautier. Mm. Is that the ones where they smoked them out of that mountain? Mm, I think that one was that Kush to Haku. Andat Kanahigi. Yeah, that's what she called him, was Andat Kanahigi. Which is interesting. Uh, so, Kus is also a tree. Crab apple tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think it's interesting. There's two things I know of where the name of the tree is the name of something. So it makes me think that the good the good club was made out of a crab apple tree. And the good bow was made out of you. And in Haida, it's the same thing. The word for bow and for you wood is the same. So that must be like the choice wood for making a bow. Probably maybe an arrow too. I just know they use hawk feathers for the arrow. I don't know what kind of wood though. But, but I, wouldn't they like? There was a lot of like saw hus, like seal clubs. Mm -hmm. And I saw that more common than anything else. 
Yeah, I think that's, yeah, for, for seals and for yeah. fish, like really a lot of those. And then most of them had a, a saw was carved into it, right? So mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. a seal club. Right? Okay. Okay. And this one, what is it? Whale. Whale. It's bag. Bag or sack. Yeah. Whale. Tiki Sani, you know that one? Sani. String, huh? String, right? But it's so wouldn't be like Zoss is a little different. A C is a little different. And then Tus is different. And Tik is different. So just getting the differentiation between all of those, right? The thonging, the, the string, the thread, the sinew the rope those all have their own names right and this one is a little bit yeah cocaine the yarn and cheese so on on this case is that the is it the only the i guess i'm thinking about the you know the ashes that were used for um the old ladies Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, ketched would be the ashes of anything. And, and then okay. You could probably specify things after that. Like there were, ketched was used to make into different things, I think, a long time ago, too. But yeah, on its own, it's just ashes. Okay. Then we got this one. Talk it off. And then, you know. Now, so basically imperfective or progressive imperfective, perfective future. That's what we're going to see here. So we got hunting. This one's kind of tough because it could mean like two different things too, right? What are the two things? Frozen. Yeah, or difficult yeah difficult or to for something to be hard would it would be frozen so it switch the classifier ah. and then we see the k for the future so we know that it's g conjugation it's going to be a running theme for this What's this one? To eat. To eat. Eating different things. Yes, eating a variety of things, usually in smaller bites. So I had to add a little fish to the, whatever these are. Guns? What? I don't know. What's that? Morgan's born. Yeah, they yeah, away. Well. Okay, so walking, right? Just generally walking. Then trying to get like from the mountain or the inland towards the ocean, which is yak yanakut. Then this one, which I'll think about how to portray like did and didn't and how to make it not look like right and wrong. Uh and then maybe that person's kind of maybe I need to zoom way in or something. I'll, I'll think about. It. Well, it was also mystifying why there was an arrow but no person. It was like became a big mystery. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of time on it. Right. <laughs> okay. I think the clues for me on that were that there's a clash and wugu is spelled different from uugut so right. the language to me was like oh that explained the picture yeah and one thing i think that's really good to keep in mind is that you'll i find myself doing this all the time is i'll say clash and then i'll keep the classifier plus i just for it's just such a habit right like i, I might say clash uugut you're like oh no no it should be clash wugut or so it shouldn't be should be 
right I'm not ready you know what just taking off those um, signs the X and and the check I think maybe we could have figured it out because I remember somebody said there's no figure in mm. that second picture so we might have got it okay I might move, maybe it's too close to these. Maybe I'll get these dotted lines off there. Oh, I'll mess around with it a little bit. Okay. This one? We thought it was Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, sunny. Uh, deer stalker hat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is kind of hard to figure out i think we got it pretty good i think yeah. and so we know the diff okay so like to say let's do a little uh we'll do a little extra credit here so if we were to take this one i will move it so we've got a kakawashi what is the difference between these? I'm going to check. I got to check that one too. And then uh, uh, what to, that last part is the I found it. Mm -hmm. Finding. So that one's finding. The first one is looking for something. Somebody is looking for something. Yep, looking for something. Found it. Or looking for it. Found it. What about this middle one? Akakawashi. Looking again. <laughs> again. Okay, so that one is also finding it. And what is the difference between the middle one and the bottom one? Is one of them finding it by searching? Yes. And that is the... Okay, it's this one. Yeah, so the kuwashi is like you're feeling, it's like, the imagery could be like feeling around in a space, like even though you're you're not always looking with your hands, but that's kind of the way the verb seems to be working, right? So like a is to touch something, like ishaki shi, touch your head, right? I think it's that same verb. So akaku washi is like I'm feeling around for it, akaku washi, and then so that kakh is like kind of for or the benefit of and so that one is like i was looking they were looking for it and they found it and our a is more like they came across it okay i found this key just sitting in the road i found my keys right so subtle differences and i think in some of the dictionaries you might see some discrepancies in that but we did some work with some speakers to try and figure out like if this one was looking for then it makes sense that this one would be to to find something while looking for it and this one to be come across something but i think in the verb dictionary they might have had those flipped around and so it was it just caused a little bit of confusion which happens and it'll keep happening it's fine we'll leave those up there for that guy to find later he's not even looking for those okay. What's this one? He, she, or it saw. He, she, or it. Yes. So it's to behold something specific. So whenever it moves to something specific, it tends to want to move towards this verb. So if like I just saw, if I saw a killer whale, it'd be kit khatin right now. But if I'm telling you about this killer whale I saw, it should be khwasatin. 
And then when we see the future, it tells us some information. What does it tell us? It tells us ah. it is a ga conjugation. Ah. conjugation. Ah. With the ye. So if it's ga, you're going to get ye in the future. And if it has a progressive imperfective, you're going to get ye in the progressive imperfective. So, you know, ye anashat. They are grabbing it. This is like I have an idea. I don't know how to illustrate knowing something. Hechwasaku atekatushkitye. Light bulb? I don't know. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. Getting to know it, knows it or knew it, will know it. I think we all know Ausaku because of Chesha. Chashwasaku. <laughs> It's one of our first phrases. <laughs> and this was the first one. This started me on the whole stick figure manipulation because I couldn't find a stick figure bashing another one in the head. So I was like, I could draw that. I could move it around. Uh, so this is clubbing in the head, technically. That's why you got the sha built on there. There are a number of these when it's happening right now, it does get this kind of repetitive suffix. You're gonna see quite a few of them that do this. So akahisht is like clubbing it right now on the head. Ashawachich and ashakwachich. Kone, why um why does it lose the sha and the on the first one, akahisht? Oh, whoops, it should be there. Sorry. It should be that. I think I got it from somewhere else. Maybe a different verb? Okay. Good catch. A shechisht. Shechish. That's where, uh, if anybody knows Roy Mitchell, his Klingit name was Kashechishti clubbing people on the head because he's he had a pencil and he said if I catch you speaking English I'm gonna I'm gonna bonk you on the head not hard I'm gonna bonk you on the head with this pencil and I'm sure I told you folks this before but I was there when he was talking about it one of the times and he's I said okay so a white a white man saying you're gonna hit us for speaking another language is a little bit traumatizing but I'm all fa I'm in favor of this just so we got it on the record his name is Kashechishti. Uh, okay. And this one. Following, right? So the, these ones will... You tend to have, like, I think, there's a falling verb, which is going to be ka conjugation. Then you're going to have falling onto something, which will be zero. And then you could have falling in a direction, and that's usually going to be na. So it is a motion verb, and it could change like motion verbs do. Uh, but falling up, the upwards part is not really going to work except for like waking up, right? Then you're gonna, you are going to get that too, though. But I think this because uh, just looking through the notes, and then also the Raven stories give us. There's just so much stuff in those Raven stories. And then they say, yay, Neskit, he's falling. When they're talking about raven falling from the sky or, or something like that. And so that shows me that you can say it this way. Um, and there was a couple others that were in there like that. So I think you could do it, which is why the the pot one isn't done, because this is going to, I'm going to change this so it falls onto something. And then it's going to be a cut with jachin. So it's going to change it to a zero. Can we got this one? That's the one of picking up a dead thing, or is it yeah. picking up a dead fish? Yeah, it's a dead thing. It could be anything, or it could be a sleeping baby, or a person who's knocked unconscious, or maybe they're just really, really just had too many. 
They were really under the horse's tail and then they fell over. Okay, this, this is a new one. I just did this one today. I was trying to do like uh, pecking on another one, like pecking on the back. Like it is pretty specific. And so this, this is a verb to pack something on your back. It's also g conjugation, which is really interesting to me. Uh, even though it is, uh, I would expect k on a yang, but this is what uh, is in the dictionary, so I went with it. But some of these, there could be again a default. Like their motion verbs are so interesting. Like you could have um, this ya form, which is like just talking about the action. Like you say to kids in the language nest, we tell them ya gai a walk and that's trying to take from like kind of modern education where you don't tell kids what not to do you tell them what to do so instead of saying don't run you say walk and yaka gu would be walk but there's no direction involved on it okay would you use that same verb that that last slide if somebody was packing their um child on their back yeah if they're on their back yep I think that's in the uh Iduk story and she puts out a child on her back and Atawaya do Yetki teen. She packs her kid around. Yeah, cheesh. There's another one kind of tricky to illustrate. I don't really know how, but did it make does it make sense? I didn't get it, but that doesn't mean anything. Right. It's okay. I wasn't sure if it was like, I wasn't sure, like the foundation or around the, you know, like the seal of the, around the building or what? Right. Yeah, those arrows, maybe I look at them. Yeah. I'm open to ideas too. But what does it mean? Anybody know what I mean? For a building to be located? Yeah, it's situated there. And it's really, it's the same oh. word by son, like, ha I'm sitting. Yak ha I'm sitting here. Oh. A building is situated there. But it really only works for buildings, I think. It might work for trees and stuff. I don't know. Dakshaa. It's gotta work for trees because there's a tree called Dakshaa. What is that tree? Dakshaa. Coastal the coasties won't know. Maybe. Oh, it's a big test from England. <laughs> Is it Aspen? Yeah, it's a quaking Aspen. It means standing in the, it's situated in the interior. So then all the H. Karshen get like, how could I know that? It's called Dakhasha. <laughs> I'm thinking something like a map. You know, to say something inanimate is located somewhere, but then that could get very confusing. So I don't know. Okay. Well, this this um, building probably could look more like a building. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an apartment house. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that was a puzzle for me. Okay. Um, several years ago, I remember uh, Guneoti, Marsha Hotch, saying she used that as a um, handling verb for things like two things that are laying there side by side. So and so you would use that for your glasses because there's two things here, or maybe two. Would you use that for pants? Pants, trousers, jeans. Mm. Well, so you have like outshot. And that that one's diff it's a different verb and it's like for personal things to be there. And so I do think that the the T might fall off sometimes. So you might say you maybe like my suitcase is sitting there. But let me let me see. What do they I have think that? what's different is because like in English, we always say talk about a building's footprint. 
Mm -hmm. And here we're talking about situated here. In right. The huh. It, it made it clear when you were talking about it, because you said there's multiple of us sitting. And then when you, you emphasize the difference when you said the building, because you said hiddi, and you used emphasize that sha. And then you said, you know, it's just this only one form. There's no other ones. But yeah, in order for us to understand that, we had to have you talking about it. So I don't know how to do where you just see the illustration and know what it means. Yeah, so maybe like, I guess a little, uh, I'll go back to the drawing board with this one. I think I think a more conventional building would help too, because that is so abstract. It's a beautiful image, but. <laughs> <laughs> this building took me literally 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, I'll find, yeah, get away. find a better building. What about a clan house? Yeah, we can. I get the clan house one. That will work. Yeah, quite You go with the Hanakahiti. We got this. We think we talked about this one, right? Already. Yeah, you're talking about breaking. Breaking a rope like object. Huh. It took a little while, but I think ultimately it was pretty clear what it meant. Don't, does Neruda Yukon hear what? Okay. I think some of us thought it was climbing, but then. I did at first. Yeah. Yeah, it's trying to do like these little arrows pointing away and then the. I guess maybe I'll try and get a different breaking thing. Is that, is that specifically for a person to break the rope? Well, it could be anybody, like a, a dog breaking its leash, that would work. Oh yeah, there you go. Sorry. I was thinking about tugboat, like a tugboat parting a line, but that would be like an inanimate object. Yeah, and you would just, you could just go to I think it is, which is like it. Well. it but for a heart attack, it's like no person is doing it necessarily. It's yeah. just getting broken. You could get, I guess you get really dramatic. <laughs> but then yeah, it's like you broke, you, uh, you gave me a heart attack? I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, this one I'm still working on. So this is gonna change to a cut with jachin. And it's a heavy object. And they have pot as the example in the verb dictionary. So I'm going to probably just keep going with that. How about an anvil? Anvil. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go can... back to our roots in cartoon land. <laughs> I'll put the coyote underneath it or something. Are you going to put a table down there? Okay, we'll get the anvil. Hey, I got a I got a huge anvil in my shop. I'll take a picture and shoot it over to you. <laughs> for tool making. Oh yeah. Oh, uh. you know that last one you have geeked on each side of that? Yeah, I'm still working on it. It's not. Oh, okay. it's oh, yeah. And this is one where if it's falling on something. I don't think it's going to be like this will end up going. Like, I think you can have an imperfective for falling, but not for falling on. Because one of those things, like, there's this time before and this time after. There's not a time during. And so, yeah, this it's going to end up being a cut with Jachin. And then. This we're gonna go Kadi. Kadi Poshkin. And we got this one, right? Grabbing or catching. That one 
one was harder. It was like, is that person touching a door? Are they just touching something? I, I think you might want to is. emphasize the hand part. If it's grabbing something. Okay. I think so, yeah. That's my thought. It's cheese. That's the one you were, that last one is the one you were talking about with Christine's report though, right? Because you said there's two meanings for that word, to catch or hold. Yeah, so catching and holding are two different things. And so like, if you're going to say like catch the ball, you're going to use this one. If you're going to say grab them, get them, it's going to be the L. So you get L classifier. And for whatever reason, this one is G. And the grabbing and holding is ka. Okay. So you'd say ye akkoshat, or you sorry, k akkoshat, and ye akkoshat. That also works for imprisoning someone, or you know, kechach tuash ku watch one, kechat kuchlishati. Don't want the cops to get me. For my the on the lamb story. <coughs> this one work? It's another one that's kind of because like it is building a fire. It's making a fire, right? Right. So making a fire, made a fire, will make a fire. And this one. See, dragging it. Yeah, so dragging it onto it. <laughs> so it's pretty specific. And it also, it couldn't be something with a handle or else it'd have to switch to an S classifier. Like if it was a suitcase with a handle, then it would switch to the S classifier. I have a question. Oh. Is, there, is there a reason you use a, an illustration that is not specifically of the action that's in the story? Like when they're dragging some, or yeah, when they're dragging something, it's not, you know, the guy dragging the Kusakwan or whatever happened. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good question. Um, yeah. I was just trying to think of like, what you, what would you drag onto something? And it's probably more common to just, well, this isn't very common at all, <laughs> but I guess I, don't, I didn't want to have like dragging dead bodies around either. Like we already got a dead fish, but I guess it could be dragging. Yeah, it's a really good question. I guess. Um, I, I think that's a good idea to mm -hmm. incorporate it more with the thing that we're going to be looking at in the story. Yeah. But I know you're not trying to make it specific as to the object, but. On the other hand, it would make the story more understandable right away, I think. Yeah, well, there is a future where I think there's going to be specifically animated versions of the stories. Then my thoughts for these were just like really oh. generally, just generic, like really trying to be generic to push the verb into like just really sort of focusing on the verb itself. But those are really good points. On the other hand, it did have a good challenge because during the story, I was racking my brain for the word. And then what was the picture that went with that? Mm -hmm. So like kind of more of a challenge. Okay. Another one is hard to illustrate, I think. To, so it's blowing on something. Yeah, get away. Okay. Ah. Ten out of ten on the lips and the cheek. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Got some real good blowy kissy lips on there. <laughs> this, yeah, some of these were like a lot of fun. They were a lot of fun to make. Okay, and then again, that's another guh, right? Some of it's not really. Some of it's sometimes not predictable for me. Like, why would that be kind of an upward thing? But whatever. I guess because the air comes up, I don't know. And last one. Or 
has another ga conjugation. All over the ten place. out of ten. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. Yay! Okay, and it is specifically for an insect to bite something. So it's not chewing bubble gum, it's not taking a bite of something. Um, that would be just the zero classifier group. Okay, so we've gone through them all. Uh, we will go through and do translation work on this story. So this, I think, is the 30 line version. So as we get into it, we'll go through one of these things, like here it is, and we'll fill it in as we go through on the right, just to go through and see what kind of questions we might have about this. And then um, I think a good goal would be to be able to tell this 30 line version like on your own. And then to eventually get to a point where you've got like a larger version. And there's all kinds of ways to sort of make these stories to put your own sort of energy and sort of thoughts into the story as you go through. Um, and some of that might have to do with specifics that you know, the name of the cannibal, like we know that, but maybe that's not something we want to tell to everybody. And then, uh, you know, there's, there's just some other things that you, I've heard other versions of this story in English sometimes when they talk about it. And then uh, there is a film out there called Kusa Hakwan. Uh, which I don't know if you've seen, but it's a great B-rated horror film uh, made of this story. I think Saul Neely should get the credit for finding it. Uh, quite a few local actors from the Juno area, those who've been in the, the sort of theater scene for a while. Uh, and I think this uh, it's been a few years since I've seen it. But there is Tlingit narration in it, and the Tlingit is very good. That the only difficulty I have is when the Tlingit narration comes, the music is really loud. And so it's actually kind of hard to hear the Tlingit, which is probably just a director who's like, people aren't going to understand, so we got to give them like a lot of feels through the music. But then it sort of almost cancels out the Tlingit. But um, anyways, I'll have to revisit. I think I have it somewhere might have some pirated version of it somewhere i think it's also in the library you just got it's like kusa is one word i think and then hakwan with an h is the second word i don't have to look for it was that in movie theaters i don't know i i would imagine you should cut is on youtube <laughs> to cut that YouTube yeti. I'll look a version of it somewhere. And oh. the library has it. We might have I'm not sure what the rights are for something like that, but um it was an interesting film. It was it was pretty well done. I think it's a, a eight out of ten in my book in terms of being a B rated horror <laughs> film. And having Klingit in it, that was great. I think this idea of having these common stories for all of us at as different levels that we move through is really builds a community and builds a common core of sentences, verbs, translations, sentence patterns that is going to be very valuable for all of us. I think it's excellent. I agree. Achish. Yeah, I think uh, is going to be the next one. And again, like it comes in at about 160 lines. So then cut it to 100, but don't change the language. And then, but just to also be clear, like the language is getting changed, right? Like, like the story is not getting changed, but it's like you got to cook it down to a, di a digestible version. Because you're going to get things like, okay, you could say, okay, like you can get people to understand that. But once you start getting into like that's a little bit different. That's a little bit different. We've got to sort of spend some time unpacking some of those things. And so, and I go back and forth because like this workshop that I went to, they, they just kept saying like, you can't teach through English. You can't teach through English. And I understand what they're saying, but I'm like, well, how are we going to get people to these complex concepts? I'm, I'm just really mystified by the whole thing, but we we'll, we we'll still go like about half and half at this point, which is 
that's really good i think compared to how i used you know how we used to do things which was not as much and so just keep pushing and pushing and pushing so and i'm always open for ideas suggestions improvements and the thing is you teach children differently than you teach adult learners i think i would assume you do anyway and yeah. uh, anyhow gosh geez. uh but there's still gonna be like cannibals and scary things maybe i don't know i well i was telling my daughter she's probably three and i was like i started telling the knucky duck story and i was like it's not I want to hear it. So I told the whole story, like eyeballs full of blood and all like of the eye sockets and whatever. And we got done and she goes, What was the scary part? I was like, the eyeballs full of blood and you know, <laughs> laughing and teasing about it later. And Mariah said, Don't tell her those stories. It's just scary. So I was like, Okay. We'll skip the, you know, when we get the kid version of Anaki Duck, they'll just be sleeping maybe or something. But I don't know, like there was uh, the story where Raven and the Tide Elder, and like there, there is a version of that story that changes, right? So in that story, I mean, it's, it's pretty hardcore sometimes, like Raven grabs the Elder and flips him upside down and hits their butt with a with the sea urchin shell until they let go of the tide and when they when that was told in the schools they changed it to tickling and i was like ah, that's pretty cute but maybe misses the mark i mean so those are things that we'll talk about like um i don't know i think it's kind of funny but then you don't want anybody flipping over grandma but you can't flip over grandma should end you so <laughs> oh my goodness read uh the brothers Grimm. <laughs> They're gory. Cinderella. Oh, and Little Red Riding Hood. Gooch. Yeah, Cinderella's cutting pieces of her foot off. Foot off. Get into the shoe or sisters or something. Anyways. Cheese shoe, huh? Little cheese. Little cheese. Little cheese. Little cheese. The again. No, she's gonna the good see you, Jane. Oh, yeah, cake and cheese. Oh, yeah, wait. Cheese. <laughs> ah.